A common link to our current events, good job lightworkers, stay aware in your dreams. The day is now 36 hours and starts and ends at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. in an alternating fashion. At the time of this post 10 colon 10 morning gate, on the 3D date 61620, the following 3 p.m. will start this new day. Simply follow this parallel around the globe until it hits your local time at 3. If you are cognizant that a new day has begun, it is customary to send love and kindness to someone. Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is Infinity 07A5 Infinity Infinity S7A6 S7A7A8 Infinity Infinity I1G1G1G1G1 1G 1 G 1 G 1 G 1 Infinity Infinity B1 TT Infinity Thank you for listening. Please visit us at archangelicalendar.com for more information. And please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Gaia is in the raging rapids of a water-dominant setting, after being cocooned in spirit and then set ablaze in the element of fire. This will feel like an energetic typhoon but in a good way, sort of. There is a great deal transpiring under the waters of what the masses perceive as reality, so much has happened that has yet to fully wash ashore. We can no longer allow the suffering of the pure-hearted. Many upon many sleep with hunger pains, many upon many are hurt and abused daily. We will rise up in our own unique way and affect this world in a very directly. The motions we make on this timeline will restore decency, compassion, kindness, nature, divinity, and human progress to our ego world. We will do this by example, this means that self-work has never been so important. The US military operations in the South, the downed fighter jet, the cell phone outage, and the cancelled US press conference are all linked to a cyber attack organized by Organized Darkness CCP division. This is also in exact sync with the deception going on in Korea as all of these events were supposed to be a barrage upon decency but has epically failed. This situation is fostered by the fact that metaphysically speaking, the good guys are dominating this conflict. We had greatly succeeded in our efforts of cleansing the electronics of the earth and avoiding mass malevolent possession but it did not stop the attempt of the multifaciated cyber attack that went along with it. That being said, we will still see isolated possessions, but it will not be the majority as it was originally planned. One of the major reasons why this is not worse than it is would be because it took no one by surprise, including our legions. This did put the US and other counties on a heightened state of alert but the damage will be far less than one could have possibly imagined. This series of events has two distinct timelines attached, one has a major war staring because of these actions and the other has a grand reveal that makes the organizers of these things look foolish. In this co-created 3D timeline the deciding factor is going to be what organized darkness fears the most, death or embarrassment. This attempted cyber attack was the secret technology we were referring to a few days ago about a technology that hijacks consciousness. We cannot stress enough how much damage we avoided by our actions the other day, but we have some things that have slipped through the cracks. If they were successful we would have had mass calamity, but luckily we only have a hybrid DDoS attack to deal with and some isolated possessions which may manifest on the new moon, unless we get to them first. This major event was to be known as the nicknamed, Zombie Apocalypse, because people would be acting so out of character that it would be very appropriate. On this timeline, there are only a select who are infected but we may be able to get a 100% success rate if we are diligent in today's assignments. We are 100% on board with protecting Mother Earth as a sentient being. The issue is that people take advantage of this desire to push alternative agendas. We must start to discern what is healthy for the planet, and what is pure deception and act accordingly. Polaris is sending incredible upgrade codes, simply connect with the star heart to heart and receive them. These are personal upgrades and need to be treated as such. Things will be reappearing in the Bermuda Triangle as Atlantis raises. The most interesting things have yet to come up, but this phenomenon is easily explained with physical and metaphysical common sense, so I will digress on this topic. We need to advise here that second virus propaganda wave has hit, do not feed into any of this, we have been warning you for many, many days that this would be the case. 
All this being said, we are able to observe and help from above because we operate from the safety of our 5D timelines. If you started feeling like an angel in the clouds helping from above, it is because metaphorically speaking that is exactly what you are doing. Today's tools. Tools will be active until the next post. Use the legend below to help you decipher how to best use today's weapons. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. It will work on its own when you accept its presence. All you need to do is give permission and it will work on your behalf. Active equals intention needed to use, aggressive equals will attack before anything has a chance to do any harm to you, beyond space and time. We have gone through great changes and thus the weapon based tools indicated below can be inserted into the ground to call forth downloads. Active, passive and aggressive anywhere within the universe. The Violet Flame Team is in 9 this is its optimal setting. The Violet Flame Team is as follows, and is in no particular order, Archangel Jermaine, Archangel Ansel, Archangel Bryathos, Archangel Emmanuel. Archangel Raguel, Archangel Zadekil, Archangel Dabril, Archangel Af, Archangel GZ Rail, Archangel Tatrasil, Archangel Agla, Archangel Harahil, Archangel Eshma, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Abraxos, Archangel Harahil, Archangel Nuril, Archangel Galizur, Archangel Orion, Archangel Batkol, Archangel Adonachil, Archangel Abastahan, Archangel Vermil, Archangel Adonai, Archangel Dikviel, Archangel Baradil, and Archangel Eshma. Active. Archangel Michael's legendary sword can handle anything, as it is completely omnipotent, no level of consciousness can be achieved that this couldn't slice through. It is also an amazing weapon against electronics and technology as it can override any circuitry. Passive, Active and Aggressive Archangel Isix Radiant Field looks a lot like Magneto's Phosphield and it reacts to any life form with either loving energy, or with a transmutational blast of vast power. Passive and Aggressive Archangel Leo's Swords of Plenty is a passive and aggressive attack sword that has a complete will of its own. Do not try to yield at all, you will only get in the way, equip and go. Please note the next three tools are meant to be used in combination. They are sent to us to help us sustain our physical bodies. Active. Archangel Ariel's Wand of Comforts, helps you summon any necessity you may have. It is a wonderful and comforting tool when equipped. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Israfel's flaming sword can protect you against all things directed to you on a macro or micro scale. It can also speed up the time in which something you wish to manifest will come to fruition. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Nasaraji's flaming sword can bring any negative energy to its knees. It also can remove all obstacles in the way of something you wish to manifest. Passive. Archangel Asteroid's timeline hopper brings you to a higher timeline than you aimed for. No matter when or where we leap, it will always take you a road or two higher. This basically makes everything better across the board. Active. Kali Ma's trident can handle anything as it is completely omnipotent. Extremely effective onto life and on a boulder. It is an amazing weapon against electronics and technology, as it can override any circuitry. This is a great tool for any assignment. Passive. Archangel Israel's staff allows you to see things from a divine perspective. It's a symbol of wisdom and equipping this has incredible effects on your thought perception and ability to cope with everyday life. Please note the next three tools are healing modalities and can be sent remotely to loved ones. Passive and aggressive short range. Archangel Kalesia's radiant rays of health wards off all diseases and illness. It can also aid in the recovery of diseases already inflicted, it can be sent to land masses as well as individual living beings. Passive and aggressive short and long range. Archangel Thelia's radiant compassion sends heartfelt love to all within your jurisdictions. This is the nurturing aspect of healing and is in it has incredible warmth. It is best to yield this with a calm frame of mind. Active. Archangel Raphael's healing staff is an omnipotent healing force that works gradually or intensively depending on how you yield it. It is considered the best general healing instrument. Today's assignments. We are still working on a macro level, and thus the format will stay consistent. Please use today's current tools if you need assistance performing the tasks below. We are really running on all cylinders, as we are now having to be actively cognizant of our dreams. 
You must set the intention to be aware of any beings that you may encounter in your dreams. If you encounter a malevolent being, go at them the same way you would anywhere else, with sword and shield. We have had vast success with the waves of lightning and sweeps of light, so naturally, we should bring forth more complicated techniques. Travel to the center of the earth and place your hands on two of the many quartz crystals that are available, only you will know which ones are yours. Then send healing energy in the following light sequence, through the crystals and engulf the entire planet. It is ideal to hold each color for a 72 count, but any effort is appreciated. Color sequence, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, black, copper, bronze, brown, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, rainbow. We wish to have a 100% success rate on the cyber possessions attempted by organized darkness. As we mentioned a few got through, and the easiest way to remove an invading consciousness is with a firm metaphysical strike to the medulla of the infected party. If the being is clean, it will send them massive blessings, if not they will have a headache and their body returned to their cognition. We must scan every nook and cranny of the earth for these beings, their aura will be flashing back and forth from dark to light and back again. There are less than 1000 infected but finding them will not be an easy task, stay diligent until the task is complete. Today's meditation is below, please enjoy.